saving the foam just so uh, our tech Alan can, uh, he's going to use this to transport a different machine. Um, all right. So, a um, couple ways to proceed. What we'll do is uh, um, stand it back up. Notice the green cord's still on, right? The, um, the back box is very secure. Alright, still want to take it easy. Um, you know, some obvious things. You've got to be careful of your surrounding, what's around. You know, if you got chairs or dogs rolling around. You can see that on this LE, um, they have all this, this blue protected, you know, semi-sticky stuff, like sticky note stuff, protecting that. But you can really mess up quick if you just get too excited. Um, all right, so now we're going to stick on the two legs. Of course, they don't actually stick on. We're going to bolt on the legs. Um, now, typically, you know, they have the, the feet all the way screwed in. We'll adjust later. Um, the new sterns come with leg protectors. You can still put the uh, fancy colored ones on, but these do a good job. Um, how the stickers are now and stuff. Um, I'm gonna need uh, cutters on the end. It's like a pair, on not on the end. Though. It has a metal base. Oh, maybe. You can probably get it. Yes. Is that loose enough? So because of the, L, the because the LE comes with a shooter rod in, um, the shooter rod in actually isn't on here. They have a kicking okay, it. And it's a this, uh, pull the spring. Push the barrel spring down. Yeah. And then um, I can pull it up, I guess. Might be, might be it might be turning, I don't know. It might be easier to pull it up. Is it on? But you can probably cut it. You can cut it right there. I might be able to twist it yeah. without harming the. Does anyone have. Dyke's hand. It's you got it really Here cool. comes a pair. Thank you. Thank you. Don't, uh, remember to get your tools. So of course, um, these are your keys, and, and even though we're going to be changing out the keys really quick, there's two other keys on here, right? There's the two for the, uh, the coin door, but there's also the two for the back box. So don't lose your keys. Um, so this is just reminding you, it's yellow, you know, caution, um, don't use the plunger handle to lift the unit. I, it, it, you really want to. I mean, you, if you guys didn't see me, I really wanted to use it because there's nothing to hold on to when it gets on the ground. Um, so we kind of use the back box, the green cord. Both on, Kenny? Yeah. All right. So um, all four bolts are on secure. There's no, um, you know, torque spec or anything. You just put them on secure enough. And I think you guys all know. And you don't want to over tighten anymore. Um, if you haven't heard about it, you know, the mechanism with the side are not the super big metal Williams Valley units. They're very small. It's a very small plate. And if you over torque, you can start splitting the cases out. Um, a lot of people ex uh, split their own cases or they tighten them and then after a few little nudges and stuff um, The cab starts splitting. So that's one way to just don't over tighten. It um, reduces the chance So now um, <clears throat> When Kenny has the legs ready I'll just hold it 
Um, at home, I have a, a bar stool that's just high enough. It kind of has a foam top. So I do, when I do these by myself, I lift them up, um, put them on the stool. Um, you know, if you see me turning red and sweating, someone come over and help me. But for now, <laughs> for now, I could usually get it. You know, you put it on your knee. You just put it on your knee to kind of help. Um, I can see inside, it's beautiful. Um, congratulations on your new Stern pinball machine. You know, most people keep all this. They'll put it into the uh, envelope and they keep it inside uh, inside the cabinet. There's a whole um, nice uh, Ziploc baggie full of extra plastics, decals, uh, a brief uh, manual. Um, and they keep all that even stapled to the cab, uh, especially if you're going to keep it home use only and sell it as a home use only. Um, so this is the one I was talking about. Down at the bottom says to stay informed of the new code. Just email this uh, this address. Um, tell us what you got. It's called code updates at sternpinball.com. Um, I'd like to thank the person that did that. Uh, maybe it's maybe it's Zach. I don't know. Zach Sharp, their marketing director. Um, you know Stern, their new uh, VP of sales is um, Doug who used to work at Chicago Gaming. Um, when we were in Vegas, uh, Kenny and I and David were in Vegas at the Amusement Expo early March picking up the uh, Jersey Jack machines. And Doug um, was vice president of Chicago Gaming and did all, he was doing all the remakes. He left Chicago Gaming, he's now at Stern. So he's, he's a good addition. Um, all right, so this is how to install the uh, custom shooter knob. So I'm gonna set this aside. And like I said, you guys, if you see me, so Stern says it's okay to leave this little forward, um, you know how there's a little bit of pressure on the forward legs right now. Um, that, that, you know what I mean? Like there's forward pressure on the front legs and they say it's okay. It's not heavy, I'd say most of the weight are on the front legs and on my knees. I can see inside the machine, um, you know, there's mechanisms and stuff, and this is, uh, it happens quite frequently. Um, there is some foam and some tie wraps holding some of the mechs, so when it's transported, they don't wobble around. A good example is like Metallica um, with Sparky, you know, his head wobbles around. Um, when I unboxed mine, you know, his head was secure with foam and tie wraps, they don't want it bobbing. So I see they have one for the, uh, I think it's the tomb lock. So it looks really nice. I have the Pro at home. This Ellie has a lot of extra toys. In the back. Has some extra eddies. I see extra um, spotlights. <laughs> and that is, that's not Iron Maiden making that noise. It's Star Wars. Why don't you uh, mention yeah. Amazing the uh, job on the sides. Yeah, it's pretty. So impressive. I think you guys know that uh, what Stern's been doing, they um, come out with three models: the Pro, the Premium, and the LE. And they've been doing different art packages um, on the cabinet, both sides, and the back box, um, and the sides of the back box, and the uh, the um, trans lights are all different. For example, see Ghostbusters. On the left is the LE and the right's the premium. So even at that level, um, you can see the, the artwork's different. Um, even the cabinet artwork, it's not just the powder coating, it's the actual artwork. Same goes for this. Um, so the same guy, what? Yeah, but I'm talking about the artwork, yeah. So um, same guy that did uh, uh, Ghostbusters, Zombie Yeti, did the artwork um, here on Iron Maiden. Um, if you haven't checked the artwork out when you're done, come check it out. Um, I'm personally not a huge Iron Maiden fan, and I guess I'm supposed to be embarrassed, but I never listened to them. I don't know one of their songs, but the artwork is beautiful. Um, it's awesome inside. I'm not a real heavy metal, I guess, devil worshiper 666 thing, but check out inside. I mean, I get it. The Eddie character is so cool, and this is modeled after the video game and the uh, comic book. 
So it's got some other characters you haven't seen. Um, anyways, I don't want to go too far into it. All right, all four legs are on. All four legs are secure using the pin wrench. Thank you, Kenny. And thank you, whoever else jumped in. Um, now it's finally time to cut the, uh, the um, green the band, okay? So you hold it so you don't get whipped. If you're in the Navy, you know what that feels like probably. Not getting whipped, you know. <laughs> but you're highly trained on uh, mooring lines not whipping you. <laughs> All right, so, hey, these these little L brackets here, I'm telling you, I keep these. They have come in so handy every time you transport a machine. These are just so awesome for here or, or under here. So, and make sure that you pull a clip out before um, you get the cash box out. For Alan. You can lift your cash box out. And this is where a lot of the other fun goodies are, including like extra decals. I don't think they give a manual anymore, Chuck, right? Um, you get your manual online. They're making a very brief manual. It's very okay. short. Your power cord. Probably the shooter ball. And this would be your, your pin balls, your, your uh, tilt plunge or uh, plum. And the, what I'm looking for is the bolts for the back box. So another thing, Robbie, if you come over here, uh, Stern, I believe, is totally improved. Is Kenny's getting the uh, small little bolts, and it also uses the pin wrench size. So it's the exact same size as the legs. So handy. If you guys didn't know, it used to be different. They were inside, outside. You had hatches, brackets. Now you simply have the short bolt, same exact size as your leg bolts with the washer. So once Kenny and I stand the back box up, these will go in externally um, through the cabinet in the back here. There's big uh, tension. Here's where they go. There's big arrows. Um, you can see them here. Insulation bolt securely. So we're going to lift it and they'll go right into these. You ready? Yeah. So we're going to, as we lift, we're going to make sure the wiring um, all lowers into the cab real nice on this game. You know now they're using like RJ 45 really simple cables There's two cables that run from here down one goes up uh, into the power No, it doesn't even do that. There's like two simple um, Cords that go down. So there's really not much to watch for uh, Of course in the older games. Um, there's a lot of wiring to watch for you gotta make sure that you flip your your pin wrench over to the Smaller size. Where do you get those? Nine six. You can buy this at Marco. Marco. Or you can come to our event and buy them straight from us. Our gift shop housing. I can't even turn it. I need the pen wrench. Um, all right. So we can continue taking off this molded foam. So, um, you saw what Kenny took out. Um, you have this communications wire. Uh, you just hold on to that. You have your um, pinballs and uh, your back box wrenches. I mean, bolts. You have uh, your plumb bob. And um, let's make sure it fits. All right, so that is the back box key. Um, Stern supplies a hook um, right here inside the door to hang the box, back box keys on. That's where you keep them. Some people will put one there, uh, maybe hang one on the back. Um, some people staple them or tape them underneath. Because um, if you do lose those, then you're drilling this out, of course, to get in there. A lot of people do the same thing with their coin box. They'll, they'll tape one underneath here and put it one on a keychain. Um, I have a few pinball machines. I leave my keys in the door. And sure enough, a couple different parties I've had with little kids, because each keychain may have a, like an Iron Maiden figure or something, they end up over on a table somewhere else. So I always have a key um, under here ready to open it if I can't find it. So this is a plumb bob. No, this is the uh, shooter handle, shooter rod in that we'll put on in a minute. This is, oh, they've given you some Loctite. So this is interesting. Yeah. They actually included Loctite. If you guys don't already use Loctite, you know, there's, there's all different styles. There's some that'll lock a bolt or lock threads forever. Um, and there's some that just make it so it's snug, maybe like a, a nylon thread type thing. But um, I don't know what kind this is, but it's thread locker. 
So I'm sure they're going to suggest um, we use it when we do the uh, shooter ride. Kenny has the plumb bob. Um, he can add it on now if we can get some light in there maybe. Can you see it, Kenny? Does it have low lights in it? So it's a little rod. You just put it right through the you hole. You guys may already be seeing a lot Probably of differences up. on the you LEDs. Can adjust We're spoiled here with so many the tilt. LEDs. So you can make um, it really like earlier, tilt like and end your game real red. quick. Um, or you can give it a little bit more so you can nudge more yeah. or you know, depending on the s skill of the player. see what this is so uh, this is really cool right you only see this on LEs something you definitely want to keep around it comes in a bag and I'm so I think I told you guys that I have the pro and Ian um, Ian has the premium I was at his house uh, yesterday playing his premium there's there's many differences uh, Stern did it right uh, I believe with Iron Maiden on the back box alone, totally different. Um, they stepped it up. Uh, I don't know if you can see it from there, but there's a lot of mirroring. So they act, it's actual glass um, compared to a translite on glass. And they've added the uh, silver mirroring. Um, as obvious is the uh, powder coating. Um, this is a great time, obviously, to look for scratches, marks, you know, they have a huge assembly line. They've been cranking these things out. Uh, they go through a QA process, but you still want to check them out closely. Uh, Stern's warranty, everyone thinks that there's some magic warranty that covers everything, right? Stern's warranty barely covers anything. It's mostly electronics, but they are nice. Their customer service is good. And if you call right away and say, listen, you know, I just, I just bought the LE, number 164, and maybe my lockdown bar has a scratch in it or something. They're gonna help you out, um, especially if you can explain how it happened. So this is the uh, certificate of authenticity that a LE comes with. Um, it's number 164 of 500. Um, Gary signs each one of these. A lot of people have some of the other designers, artists, programmers sign, sign it as well if they can get a hold of them. I mentioned at our last meeting that um, a local, and some of you guys may know, Keith Elwin, who uh, two years ago, Arcade Expo uh, 2.0, um, him, him and his brother had Archer here um, in the room showing off Archer. And uh, I think you guys know this, but this layout um, is based on that Archer game that he had here. And then Keith, um, um, how I heard the story was, Keith uh, you know, used the Archer game Plus, you know, he's a top-ranked um, player, tournament player, mm -hmm. along with everything else he does. If you've seen Pinball 101, Pinball 201, 102, um, was kind of his resume, and Stern hired him. Um, and I hope you guys all get a chance to play this today. It, it really is a completely different game. So, I want to make sure that you have your coin door closed while you do this, or you'll get a nice, fine scratch. Mm. right through your brand new glass so coin door closed you can slide the glass out be careful they're tempered they'll go into millions of pieces and at this moment uh, Chuck will pull all the foam out that was protecting the game yep. and transport so we have a note here it says remove Phone block before operating the game. One came out with the tape. Um, that light is helping. Here's another piece here. Uh, this piece was just on a piece of plastic because all the ramps in um, Iron Maiden are metal, just so that plastic wasn't rubbing on top of the uh, sharp metal. Okay, we're gonna keep looking. Maybe uh, some of the toys, have tie wraps. Everything looks free and clear. We can also at this time um, look for um, 
some blemishes, some marks, some um, something that got past their QA. Uh, we can make sure that um, ramps are secure. Um, there isn't something floating around that fell in to uh, the game before they put the glass on. Comes with stock cards installed. Um, this game looks like it was treated really well. All the uh, all the spotlights are in place. Sometimes they get turned, um, and I don't see anything else to remove. Should we look under the pictures? Um, want to lift it up? Sure. So you heard Kenny talk about the glass, tapered glass. If we're on concrete, you don't want to set it on the concrete. It will just um, fold like it's disintegrating. You usually want to set it on some carpet or a mat. So the other thing, the other thing Stern did on Iron Maiden for all three versions is put these classic massive bars. If you didn't know on the pros, they're doing these little, they look like car antennas, little whip car antennas, and you can only set the play field down in one spot. Um, these are really nice, goes all the way back. Uh, Kenny could pull it out and there's little rubber um, feet here and the rubber feet will actually sit right down in the lockdown bar bracket. Is it locked? No, nope, farther. Take, bring this all the way to here. There it is. Um, another thing they did, if you want to come over here, Robbie, on all three models, they put a handle here, a very hefty, hefty uh, metal handle. Um, if you ever do have to remove your play field, they've made that a lot easier. It's, it's basically, it's down to nearly one connection. There's a few tie wraps and stuff. You cut those off. Um, you still want help, but you can easily lift it out now. And you can point out the... Uh... So bringing it up, if Kenny comes all the way up, um, Stern's added these things. They're, not everyone likes them, but they, um, they protect the cabinet. There are little rubber pieces here on either side. Uh, they fall off easy. I think you want to keep them. Um, I get nervous about the scratching on both sides, on your back box and here. You know, I take um, foam like you used to put on your BMX crossbar. Remember that? I do. <laughs> And uh, you know, you use it to insulate uh, hot water hoses and I just put a slit down it and I slide it right on here whenever I lift my play fields up. Um, cool. Uh, extra plastics, they gave a buttload of them for this LE. Uh, Keychains, more uh, price cards. They actually have a printed manual this time. I don't know, did it's that very, come in on all of them? It's abbreviated, yeah. Okay. It comes on all of them. It's very, very abbreviated. Looks like they upgraded the speaker system too. Yeah, it's got a JBL speaker system and a highly, um, a, a slightly upgraded amplifier. And then this one came with a shaker motor as well. Nice. Pre-installed. Nice. So you don't nice. have to run the wires. Um, the other wire that was in the coin box is for, in, unless you want to, um, if you're operating the game, put a bill exchanger on there. You have to run it all the way up to the main PCB in the back. Let's see, um, nothing much more to point out. I don't want to go over the game too much or really the game play, but you'll see the circuit boards here compared to the individual lights. You know, instead of using all those uh, LEDs that are wedge or, or um, bayonet, there's a lot of surface mounted LEDs now. So it's just a little circuit board. They're 10 bucks each, um, but it's just a little LED surface mounted. Um, you want to check it over, here's, here's an example of the, the RJ45 cable um, that runs from node board to node board. And, and the abbreviated instructions typically and mostly talk about the node boards and major troubleshooting. It doesn't go into parts breakdown and um, circuit board. So this game only has two node boards, two main ones? Um, looks like it. One, yeah, two, maybe this one, three. Yeah. And then uh, they make uh, this the coin. Oh, yeah. And hey, my coin opinion, box. even though I'm not a huge Iron Maiden fan, the back box speakers on my Pro are still substandard. I think Stern should do a little better. Now, one of the really cool things they did during the last update, they made it so you can now select four ohm or eight ohm speakers. If you guys don't know the difference, ohms are important, right? If you change your ohms on your speakers and your amp doesn't know it you're gonna be overdriving or underdriving because it's gonna double your amp, your, uh, the amps, right? The amp flow with the same voltage when you, when you uh, 
cut your resistance in half. Um, so now you can go into the portal and actually tell the computer what ohm of speaker you have, which is great. Because now you can use home speakers or audio speakers. That's typically the difference in um, speakers. Um, we awesome. Should we do that? Yeah, and I'll go to the clay field. Or no, we do it right now. Oh, uh, we need to do it with the clay field. That's yeah. probably. You have your glasses on? Yeah. This game is shooting. It's a custom shooting dog. All right. Give us a minute while we read the shooter rod the instructions. Shooter rod. I'll show you the shooter rod. Hot tape loaded. Place a few of the Loctite on the threads. It's child proof. Sure. All right, so okay. here's the, um, look, I don't know, what eddy is that? That's the, the plane flying eddy? Sorry, I don't know. World War II eddy? World War II Eddie. So I does anyone know? I think this is the first. Um, I think it's the first LE to ever come with a custom shooter rod tip. You can buy them from Stern. So do we? This stays on. Yeah. All right. So um, Kenny's adding uh, per instructions a little bit of the uh, Loctite. Um, Said so add like two drops. Okay. And then you twist the knob and you ex uh, you wipe the excess. It's going on really easy. Oh, hold that now. Yeah. I'll um, wipe it on my Pinball Madness shirt, October 19th, 22nd, 21st, <laughs> at Museum of Pinball. This year, October 19th to the 21st. One entry price, get you 1,200 games on free play. All right, um, I wiped off the excess, Kenny. Okay. Um, I have your ball sack here. <laughs> ball sack? <laughs> that you what handed me. <laughs> Can you count them? Yeah. So, let's see, it's typically um, right here on the lockdown bar mechanism, it'll uh, say how many balls you should install. And it says six, so. We're hoping that Kenny's ball sack has six balls. Okay, so, you know, from the factory and when they make these and for corrosion resistance, they coat these in oil. So you always want to wipe your balls really nice. Again, on my Pinball Madness, October 19th to the 21st, 2018, here at Museum of Pinball. Shirt. So, like your mom told you, if she was into pinball, you definitely want, um, all your oil off your balls. Um, so I'm gonna load the balls. One, two. Thanks. Two balls. Three balls. <laughs> <There it is. laughs> Four balls. balls. Five balls. And six, six balls. <laughs> power cable is awesome now too. It's like your standard computer, um, your your tower PC power supply cable. So this is this is great now because uh, you could buy these and these are heavy duty, right? They're not the chintzy, um, you know, they're three wire, they've got the ground and you can buy extension cables, you can buy 20 footers. Um, Mono price has them, you can get like one footers up to 25, I think they do 50 and 100 feet if you really need it. it I'm so happy they did this. And if you didn't know, um, you know, the, there used to be a big transformer here right in the middle recently. Um, I know for a fact Metallica had it and I think we go all the way up to uh, maybe The Walking Dead or Star Trek. Huge transformer, really heavy. Um, the power button was here. Um, didn't have these, so now the entire power supply is here in the back box. So the on-off switch is here. Um, can you hear that? Underneath the back box. So now I don't know if it's on or off. So uh, back here, um, same thing we you're used to seeing on a uh, PC, but it also has a little P-clip. You guys know what a P-clip looks like. Shaped like a P and it 
holds wires, goes right in. Um, and you'll notice that Stern has supplied a nice long, let's, let's see, this is, uh, it's 10 footer, yeah. It's a 10 foot cord, watch yourself. I'm gonna plug it in, it may turn on. Um, glass is still off, you'll note. You know what, so Robbie, I don't know if you can capture it, but when I was talking about the uh, metallic back glass, I forgot to say that they carried over the metallic into the side art of the cabinet and on the back box. I don't know if you can capture it, but it's all silver and metallic. Sometimes you gotta go to the angle and kind of move the light. It's, it's oh, yeah. really evident now. It's more evident than I thought it would be. Uh, I've got to play in LE, but it was shoved between um, other machines and I haven't seen this art. So I advise you, the first time you turn the machine on, take it slow, let it go. Don't be too nervous, but really watch for what's happening. Um, leaving the glass off helps a little. Um, you can test switches and you can go through the whole thing. I don't know if we have time to do that. So uh, um, let's see, let's check everything over. All the balls okay. are in, lockdown bars on. And what that means is um, the play field securely and properly in place, if you got the lockdown bar on. I can see the uh, the LE has the special um, marker here, the uh, plaque that has the number. Um, one of the cool things uh, our, um, Stern started doing, I believe on Star Wars, they give everyone a plaque now um, to say it's a pro model premium, and of course, with the uh, those. So um, they take a lot longer to boot up now. Um, they don't make much noise. Does a couple of flashes. We'll tell you the uh, the code version. We're at uh, 1.02, I believe now. So we'll see what um, this machine's at. Um, while we're waiting for it to boot out, uh, I noticed right away we have uh, I think it's called Cyber Eddie. We have uh, Psycho Straight Jacket and uh, Eddie. But also it came with the side blades. You guys get a chance later check out the uh, side blades. Uh, Stern isn't selling them yet. Um, I plan on, I'm waiting to purchase these for my pro. NES. Yeah, NES always has uh, the GC Grand Champion. So I can tell volume's way down. Not hearing any call outs. Let's get a little bit of volume. So you guys know how to adjust volume, go into the portal. All right, I can already hear the speakers a lot better. The bass is there. I can tell these are more full range than the Pro. Um, we won't go into all the home, you know, the, the setup you may do for your home, but you have a lot of choices. You can do uh, three ball or five ball. Of course, at home, you put them on free play here at the Museum of Pinball. Um, like at our event, you know, Pinball Madness, October 19th to the 21st. Everything's on free play. So, Kenny. Um, just put this machine on free play. That no longer takes quarters. If you did have it on quarters, you could adjust the uh, cost you want per game for multiple games. You can set um, how many balls you want. I said that. You can do initials too. You do the standard three initials or you can do a 10 initial um, game. Some of the other things I'm seeing different right away, there's a lot of uh, red LED lighting. And uh, since I've played the premium, I know that's for certain modes. It really, uh, really rocks the game when they turn all the lights off and keep the red on. If you guys have played Star Wars, they do the same thing with red, white, and blue. So they'll turn all the lights off but the blue or turn all the lights off but the white. Um, another uh, couple additions first to any pinball machine are these, uh, you know, we call them Newton balls or maybe captive balls, like a Newton ball with the captive ball behind it. These are completely different. We've got to call them something else, but these actually move. See how that moves? So if you know how a pop bumper works, you know when you hit the bottom of a pop bumper, it's a it's a little um, little thing that rests in a spoon, and when you touch a pop bumper, it moves that spoon, and that's how these work. So these this ball goes all the way down to a spoon, and just like a pop bumper, um, triggers the switch. Uh, this is the same way. So this is called the orb, and this I believe is called the uh, tomb, or uh, the sarcophagus. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, so um, let's uh, play. Why don't you go ahead and play a ball, Kenny? Okay. Welcome, Maria. So, another thing really unique 
to uh, Iron Maiden. They've got a, a bunch of lights in there. Now you can see it's going in circles and it tells you other things too. The Pro I have has a standard yellow flasher in the place. Kenny picked a song. He's going to pick his favorite Iron Maiden song. Um, every, you can set it up in the portal. You can set it up in the portal that every ball is a different song. So every time you start a new ball, you can change it. Skill shot is actually Why launching the ball and without yes. hitting anything, doing the outside drain. And it's, I think it's five or ten million, which would be a good score. And of course, ball saves on. So you do. The standard skill shot is just to hit um, this shot here. This shot's your extra ball. Um, it's all. One, it's also one of your uh, uh, table multipliers. There's, there's no magnets in the game at all. They went away from the magnets, but there's four flippers. And the two flippers, the two flippers on top, you can almost play a whole separate pinball game up on top if you keep the ball up there. Also on the premium and the LE, uh, that center ramp that goes into that front line, um, the ramp flip. You can see the bullseye in the middle here. Uh, the bullseye that's little, little pit you see in the middle, that's the bullseye. You gotta hit it right on for a bullseye. There's actually a you enter your initials for bullseye champion, which is the most bullseyes. It's hard to hit. The blue ring, totally, totally separate indicator, and the red ring is totally separate. Four different, they see something different. What? What? You done it on yours yet? Oh yeah, you can yeah. hit the bullseye. It's hard to do on purpose, but that, <laughs> that ramp is important for the game. So you're always shooting for the ramp. Right now he's trying to spell Eddie, and these white lights are lit, so he needs one more to spell Eddie. He can go up the middle, but you have to hit the center card. Um, it comes with two spinners as well, right? If you guys didn't know, like uh, people that have Metallica Pros, Pay a hundred bucks to add the spinner. The pro comes with you. The spinners are real important for the game too. Oh, great skull! Yeah, that'll be. <laughs> so, Kenny got the most spinners out of anyone that's ever played this game. So, I don't know. That's pretty cool. Back. Yeah, That's so cool. when you do the three initials, you get the uh, hieroglyphics. Um, I wish they would do it for the 10. Um, I wish they would do it for the 10. Hold on, like, we already got some marks here. <laughs> okay, we'll have to clean it up. Um, hey, it's working. It's working good. We haven't tested every switch, but let's put the glass on. It'll be a lot quieter, and then we can play.